Hello and welcome to Let Us Farm. My name is Emily Fong Noel Oge of Let Us Farm. So today we are going to be talking about what causes the skin of your catfish to peel. Maybe you have, you have noticed that your, your catfish all of a sudden they have their skin peeling, peeling off. Yeah, it's a, it's a big worry because when your fishes are peeling their skin, automatically there's going to be infection on those skin. And once there is infection, these fishes may likely die. So what do you think is the reason why this thing happens and what are the possible solutions to stop it? And this is what we're going to be discussing today. So please, after watching this video, try and give us a thumbs up, like our videos, comment, tell us what you want us to bring or what we have done that you still want us to talk more on. Or what is your problem in your farm just drop it down in the comment section and i'll pick it up from there and if you're having a problem in your catfish farm all you simply need to do is do a two to three minutes video and send this video to me when i look at this video i'll be able to provide you with a solution to solving your problem and these services are absolutely free Please, for no reason, we are not forming any group, no WhatsApp group, nothing, no Telegram group. So please, discard any information someone brings to you that we are forming anything for you to join. So, like I said, what causes the skin of your catfishes to peel? This is what we are going to be discussing. I'll be right back. Welcome back. So, um, like I said, we are discussing today about the peeling of the skin of your catfish. Um, you may have noticed that and you may not have noticed it. Yeah, but uh, most people have actually seen it. You see it sometimes, you see it on your concrete pond or your tapolin pond. But people on eating pond hardly see it except when the fishes are becoming bigger. That's when they now notice it. The reason is simply because of the color of uh, the pond. So now, what is this issue of the skin of your catfishes peeling? Now, the thing is that most people that have talked to me about this condition, the truth is that most of them, they try to like hide some information because some of them apparently knows you know, the type of questions I ask when you bring issues to me. Because I like, I like when you have an issue, if you bring an issue to me and you are honest with the information you are providing, it makes me to give you an accurate answer. But for some reasons, you are hiding some information from me. What now happens is that you mislead my own judgment and I give you a wrong answer. So I'm also using this opportunity to ask you to please refrain from doing that so that we all can be on the same page. Now, the main reason that this issue happens is overstocking. People don't like to hear this word overstocking. Some people, when you tell them that they have overstocked, they start arguing and arguing and arguing. But the issue is that you are arguing without a solution. So what are you saying? You've said nothing. Now, once you overstock your pond, this is a very serious issue. Once you have overstocked your pond, what happens is that the movement, the mobility of your fishes in the water has been reduced. Because now the number of fishes in that water is now more than where they can have free access to move. What people don't understand is that you yourself, you are looking at the fishes and saying, oh, the space I have for them is much, but you are not living inside the water. I mean, someone will tell me that, look, they are, their pond is six feet high. It doesn't matter. I've said this, catfish are not deep swimmers. Three feet high water is the best for them. Once you start going four, five, six feet deep, those ones, they won't like it because it's a stress for them to come up and down. If they were sharks, yeah, it's okay for sharks, but this is catfish. So let's try and understand this. 
So once you have this issue of overstocking, you have reduced the mobility of these catfishes in the pond. And once this mobility has been reduced, what happens is that they now hurt themselves by bumping on one another. Once this happens, any small injury they have, it makes others to attack them and start eating their skin. This is the reality. You see, when this happens, there's one, there's an exposure of the fish skin to infection in the water. So if there's any contamination on that water, it directly infects the fishes, meaning that all of a sudden they start dropping dead. Then two, once there is injury on such catfishes, they now become prone for others to eat up them because other fishes, once they are hungry, they now see another fish with a skin injury. There's blood there. These guys, it triggers their brain. The next thing is that they try to attack that injury and eat up the fish from injury. So sometimes you get to your pond, you see one fish trying to run away from other fishes. Bring out that fish immediately. It has an injury. And once it has an injury, it's already a prone for attack and before you know what happened others will finish up the fish so bring out the fish put it in a separate pond and allow it to rest a little so now from what i have said now you should understand that the major thing that causes that is overstocking and so once you have noticed this thing happening the best and the easiest solution is for you to create another pond for them but in the situation you don't have pond to create i would advise you is Sort out your fishes, the small ones you have in the pond, sell it off and continue with the big ones. Now, when I tell people that this is the solution, what they normally ask me is, sir, is there no other solution? I will not deceive you. There's no other solution. If you want to go and buy drugs and put, even if you put all the drugs, the drugs will not make the fishes to stop bumping on each other. And this is why there are no solution except reducing the number. The drugs is not going to make the fish to be to stay on their own without attacking each other. Because remember, the main reason why they attack each other is because there is no space in the pond. Then there is another reason that could make other fishes attack one another and give them that bodily injury. Because some people think that that bodily injury is an infection. It's not an infection. That is an injury caused by attack. Except... Maybe you are using an eating pond and there are storms inside the pond that you didn't remove before stocking. What I mean by storms is three storms. You cut them off and dug the pond and you didn't remove this thing before stocking. So if fishes go through this pond, they can have body injury. So this is the only time that you may have something different from having overstocking issue. Except a situation that you are not feeding your fishes very well. And because you're not feeding your fishes very well, they are hungry, they spot another fish which is moving very weak. For some reason, the fishes are down, they are weak, and others pounce on it. So in that pouncing on it, they give it that bodily injury that you now see at a later time, wondering what happened. So these are the only scenarios that can happen if it is not overstocking. But if you are using a concrete pond, a tarpaulin pond, and tank, Mainly, it's overstocking issue that has caused it. And if it is that this fish is weak and they now saw it and attack it, it will be only one fish. And once that one fish, they've killed it, everybody's at peace. But if it is overstocking, you discover that once that one fish is dead, you will notice others having the same mark on their body. Means that those fishes are attacking that fish because they don't have space in the pond. So naturally, they are going to be eating the fish until the desired space they need in the pond comes out for them. This particular situation is going to make you, the catfish farmer, have a great loss because they keep eating what you are supposed to sell when they are big to be able to create more space in the pond. Then for the other example I gave you that there could be a stump inside the pond. When that happens and you discover there's a stump inside the pond, the easiest thing you have to do is if you have another pond, relocate all the fishes to another pond, drain all the water in that particular eating pond, remove that three stump inside there before bringing them back to the pond. This can be achieved within 24 hours. So if you do that, you discover when you bring them back to the pond, they won't have any other bodily issue. So these are the reasons why you see your fishes having skin peel. Apart from that, 
and someone tells you that you need to put drugs it's not really a matter of drugs like i always say the catfishes don't really need your drugs all they need is give them clean water give them good spacing give them good food they will be healthy so is there anything i have said now that probably you don't understand or you are still finding it difficult to digest use the comment section or is there any topic that you want me to bring to your knowledge just use the comment section and let me know and is your pond having any issue your catfish farm is it having any issue if yes yes do a two to three minutes video of this your fishes do this video when you are feeding them and send it to me i will be able to assist you free of charge until i come your way next time this is let us farm keep farming it's a way of life